Welcome back, guys, to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, where we procure ourselves yet another ride. To head off to the shrine that's actually nearby town instead of the one I was planning to go to to search for Bartra. Wherever that may be, she went looking for a Leviathan? That may be, but we're going to do a bit of racing. In between this episode and last, by the way, I did chop off by the house, buy myself a shield rack, and I put the new sword and shield we got from our Van der Broes completion defeation back over there. So we have space as we reach the point of the Sandstill Rally, of which we want a trophy to put inside. Finally, Tali. I'm sure, Shaboni, it is time. You again? Don't bother Tali while she's getting pumped up for the Sandstill Race. Now the Divine Beast is gone, we can finally use the race course. Actually... Do you want to try to beat Tally's record? I warn you, they don't call her Dame of the Dunes for nothing. Not a problem for me. Well, the Sandstill Race, tell me more. You've never heard of Hyrule's pastime? The world famous Sandstill Racing? I thought everyone knew about it. Isn't that shocking, Tally? Doesn't talk. Okay. You serve for Sandstill and race to the finish line. We're also going through the arches. That's Sandstill Racing. And if you get off your shield or leave the course bounds, you're disqualified. What are the course bounds? Tali's record is 1 minute 30. If you can beat that record, that trophy is yours. Boy. This is the grand trophy that's been passed down by 10,000 years of Sandstill Racing Champions. Tali here is the current champion. Will you try challenging her record? Of course. Ah. I forgot to mention, since you're racing against the champ's record, it'll be 50 rupees per race. Oh, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> Alright, payday. That's what you're... You're basically looking to sucker in chumps, aren't you? That's a nice belt, though. Can I have that? It's like a championship title. Enough talk. Let's begin. And that's what I agree with you. Now let's get going as I limber up. A challenger has appeared to take on the Gludu Sandseal race. Apparently one who does not mind risking life and limb. But will our current record fall? The one set by our undefeated champion? The incomparable beast of the desert. The Sandseal is ready to ride. Can our new contestant reach the goal in less than 1 minute 30 while still passing under every arch? The suspense is killing me. I'm going to start the countdown. Let's pray that I'm good at this. All right, well, the undefeated champ. Well, we're dashing, of course. Go on, Sansil. Pull me as fast as you can. I'll be surfing on the shield in the meantime. So where are we going? It's not exactly got a map. I can't really tell what the course bounds are. All I'm really wanting to do is just keep on going by the look of it. And I guess, to be honest, the racetrack itself is kind of set. Keep dashing. Don't ever come up for air. You're not allowed. We have a time we want to reach things by. Oh, here we go. Obstacles. Get down there. I will pilot with the most expert efficiency. Just barely. Right, what we got going? Oh, hello. Nice of you and all. I will dodge the rocks by going as close as I can to them. And not as close as I can to you because it was pretty obvious that was going to happen due to the lay of the land. And if I've got skulls to get past, I'm going to go round this side. Nothing can reach me from here. As it looks to me like we've reached our goal. In one minute, 1778. New record indeed. That was pretty easy, huh? 117.78, yeah? It's a new record! It is. Because I'm the champion. I'm the best at seals involving sand. I'll have you know. I wonder if you get, like, dressage for the sand seals if you get 115. That's a question in of itself. Perfect. Oh, you do speak. I believe this belongs to you. This trophy is something special, you know. Our champions have passed down a legend about it for 10,000 years. The legend goes, when the holy jewel is offered unto the pedestal, the chosen one will be granted a new power. But that power has never been granted to anyone, not even to me, obviously. And yet I sense a power emanating from you, the likes of which I have never felt in anyone else. You should give it a shot. <laughs> and so, a new champion is born. Uh. <laughs> a 
And so, an orb goes to fit in its slot. The undefeated champ it may be, but I'm just like surprised no one ever tried to just put it in there. I guess you have to have a power for it. I was about to say, it's in! It's taking a little bit longer than I thought to activate. Another shrine is ours. Oh, it seems our sand seal ran off. I could use one of them to get around afterwards while the undefeated champ is defeated. And with our stealth gear on, I should be able to, uh... Or oh, not if I run. If I walk up to them, I should be able to capture them like that. But not if I run, though. Right, let's get on in. And see, is it a puzzle or just a straight reward? Well, I'm 150 rupees down on last episode. Just because of that shield rack and that 50 there. I need to keep building up rupees. Because buying that ancient armor, if I'm right in saying, is very expensive. Well, skip that. Rakazunzo's blessing is ours to get. As we take ourselves another radiant shield. Not a problem. And an orb reward. Of course, we could go back and get the hearts, to be honest now. Job done. A hero rises to right the wrongs of Hyrule. As we now have nine orbs once again in our possession. One heart away from the next lot. Do I bother getting more stamina or not? I'd rather fill up that bar of hearts completely, to be honest. It just looks nicer. I know I can get yellow hearts too. But still, job done! The main issue for us now is finding a sand seal, is it not? Which one may not be readily available. Well, so where do is it we want to head? We want to head, if we're looking for a leviathan, well there's skeletons. We're probably looking down here. A skull there, dragon's exile. Do you think Bartra's that way or over by that set of skeleton? Well, if we're going to run and not have a sand seal, we may as well check on foot just in case, just because it's slower. I'd have to get off it anyway. I don't know. If there was any collectibles like Koroks around. Famous last words, I should have probably just ran. Probably ran back, got the sand seal, would have been happy. But of course, we have our sand boots. Oh, you really hit me then. I wasn't expecting you to land there, that's for sure. Woohoo! There's just no point in fighting you though. You got so much HP, it takes so much time. Well, there's a skeleton, sure. And they're all thunder ones, aren't they? So they're all not the type I can just instantly end. It doesn't look to me like Bartra would be there. There's definitely several moblins in the location. It is a skeleton and all, but it's not what they're looking for. Right. Enemy encampment, sure. Not what we're looking for, however. Let's keep on keeping on. Which way am I even going now, map-wise? So I'm heading in relatively the right direction? Ish? I mean, after all the map, it just looks like we're heading up. Because, of course, it rotates towards us. There's not many landmarks for me to see. Is there not, seriously, a single sand seal out here? Well, it would be handy. Get a shrine straight away, now waste some time. 
We're halfway there now, so turning back's not really a clever option. Oh, you're an electric one. I said, if you're all electric guys, where is the electric darners? That I'll go for. Right, we seem to be heading into a sand cloud, which... Oh. Now has wiped out our visibility. Who knows where I could be going now. There's a ruin here. There's definitely some enemies within. There's no captives, so that's a good sign. This is not where Bartra ended up. It's also a good sign in another way as well. They couldn't see me to stop me. Well, now we're in the middle of nowhere. No clue where we are. I don't even think there's a way for me to warp out. Looking to see if you can see anything in amongst this mug. Here's the question, what happens if we reach the edge of the map? It was in roughly this direction, right? But how am I going to see it throughout all this? You know what? This is how people end up losing their lives. Instead of turning back, they keep plowing forward. You can't go any farther? We've reached some kind of edge of zone. Which now it's time to try and realise... Whereabouts were we really? Right, there's a skeleton here. Okay. There's a lot of enemies coming out of that. How did they see me? I do not know. So either this is one side of it. Whoa! Or the other side of the skeleton. Which are we? Right or left? Well, the wind's cleared up a little bit. I think we found it. It took a while and a fair bit of wandering. Oh, it's a shrine. Well, this is the Leviathan we were after, right? The Gurudu Great Skeleton. A Witcher Shrine lays. Oh, or something way more interesting. The Howard Cuff Shrine is found. I don't think we found Bartra, though. But well, this is inter a sand seal as well. Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. Sure, I am the great fairy Terra. This place was once a beautiful spring. But as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my powers abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 1,000 rupees. Once my powers have been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, Hand them over to me quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need 1,000 rupees. I have that. Oh, I was trying to save some up, you know. Thank you. You are too kind. Aha, the power. It's overflowing. You're your very own oasis, Terra. Fancy hair you have. <laughs> Been down there for a while? Ah, well, hello there. 
I am the great Earth Fairy Terra. I am the oldest of the four sisters. I have been watching your activities from inside my butt all this time. Now, haven't you been busy swinging that sword around, adventuring? I'm not just making wild assumptions, you know. I truly do see all. Mm. I'll prove it right now. I'll predict what you're thinking right at this moment. You've got nice hair. Mm. You're probably thinking, can't we just skip to the part where she enhances my glowing, right? I guess. <laughs> Looks like hit the mark, hmm. <clears throat> what an impatient person. Why don't you show me the clothing you want to have enhanced? Depending on what materials you have on hand, I should be able to enhance your clothes, but it all depends. Mm -hmm. With the power available to me, I can greatly enhance your clothing. Enhance away. Right, so what options do we have? The gear we have currently, we can upgrade one of them. Also, we can upgrade the boots, but we need Elmodoga fins here. Octorok tentacles too, so I have that there. We need Hytale lizards by the ton. Takes a long time to find them as it is. Radiant tights with luminous stones. We can upgrade the stealth stuff to its next level. Aww. Which would be kind of nice. But I guess the main stuff is the climbing stuff I want. Oh! I'm slightly wondering what massively enhancing my stuff will do. <laughs> All done! And it's perfect if I do say so myself. What about the others? Well. Let's get a weird mixture. Of course I want to upgrade one of these. But I don't have enough hot-footed frog to do more than one. So let's do the bandana. This makes your defense is never bad. Stop kissing me! Essentially, I'm going to need to visit some places then. Sometimes it's so good it's scary. Well, while we have it as well and we're using it as equipment, why don't I do that too? Oh. That's going to require a lot of material gathering. And just after I went on that big material lark. It's the high tail lizards that are going to be interesting. But there we go. We've got ourselves some fairly equipped gear. My sister never passed the world. Still need you to restore their power. Some more? So I can do it more than level three? I'll take care I will. It's Bartra here. I mean, honestly, that's what I'm really wondering. Endura carrot, I'll take them. Loads them, in fact. I mean, there's some sand steels, but is there a Batra? Anywhere to be found. Well, let's get in the shrine and then figure out what puzzle we got to do next, really. I wonder if, uh... I take it you don't get a better status, like, effect for your gear if they're all leveled up to level 3. Remote bombs are lighter than they appear. Use the wind to your advantage to roll them in a certain direction or to blow them farther than you can on your own. Let's see what our next dungeon is after that massive journey through the desert. Of course, there's more journeying through the desert to go as we've got electric puzzles. Do you sit in the shrine? I'm Hawakoff. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. The current solution. Haha. <laughs> the puns. Right, well, I obviously need to just bring electric to there, and to be honest, it's quite simple. We just gotta put these blocks in the relevant recesses. As you can so see. Right, can I take one on with me though? Ooh, I can have them as I will. That'll help me with some puzzles, surely. Well, first of all, there's a chest down there, so I'm going to claim you. Then there's also a guardian about to take a shot at me. So let's take the corner. An ancient core is great. Watch it, you. Alright, I'll claim your goods in a second. I've got other things to do first. So there's a chain there. The chain itself is going to provide a fair bit of current. It's wrapped around here, is it? Okay, no, wait a second. It's not wrapped around. I'm being an idiot and wrapping it around. Alright, so that'll now take me up to there. Hmm. 
Let's grab you and move you along a bit. Okay, I think we see the point of this. Is to make sure I'm not putting things down. Of course I'm going to drop down there to take that. Because we need any and all items we can of that ilk. See, I've got things like that that I can take to add on power as we need to. I think I'm going to let you survive this. Then you're laughing. I need you out my way. Ooh. Ah. Right, what's this? It's a chest up there. So we'll leave you there for the time being. And grab that weapon. Even better by a mile. Rupees are so valuable in this game, it's ridiculous. In previous games, they're not so much. It's crazy how valuable they are here, just due to their scarcity. All right, I'm going to put that there, because I'm planning. I want to figure out what this does if I was to hit one of these points. Okay, so they basically all flip. Well, I learned today. I guess that works. There's an actual podium for you, though. Oh, what's around this side? That's the actual shrine. Oh, there's a gear missing. So there must be a gear further on through here. It's in there. There's a metal grate in our way. We need to add some current to that section there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Is that right? I don't think it is. Do we end up with one off? Well, it looks like I can grab that and maybe push it. But it doesn't hold for long enough. Just wondering if I can stasis it, really. Just getting into hold at the right point, isn't it? Oh, just a little bit off. Is that what I'm doing? Stasising so it can go across? Will that last long enough for us to get everything out, though? I'm going to get trapped, though, I think, to be honest, as long as I've activated it for a certain period of time. We're okay. So that was really all I was doing. Okay. Well, we got ourselves the gear. I'm sure I made that harder than I needed it to, to be. 
let's go try and slot you on then. Oh, okay. I guess maybe that was a bit too complex to expect someone to slot it on that with Magnesis. So they let you kind of just go through and do it. The Howard Cough Shrine is now explored. All chests are gained. And another orb is ours. But we didn't find Bartra. That's not what we want. So 82 shrines now. Let's see if we can get a further 18 on the way to our fourth dungeon. But to be honest, we got so much of the land to explore, it's ridiculous. Might be time to make a actual flage. For Ray. Cold now? Not good. Night time. Towards the center of Hyrule. Always tons of equipment here. Items galore. Alright, well we reached the Leviathan, but saw Bartra nowhere. If there was a person, I'm sure we should have seen them. And I'd have to say, if you're looking on the map for something that fits the bill of Leviathan, it is this over here. Which makes it extremely worrying. But now that we have a sand seal, we can get around the place fast again. So before I move too far away from the Garuda Great Skeleton, I'm going to move over to this. There's Bartra right there! She was just on the other side of things when I jumped in. Bartra, we found you! Let me help out. Uh, Are you a fairy? An angel? Are you here to guide my passage? Uh, Heaven's going hazy. This might be the end. Snap out of it! Uh, ah, if only I could have eaten a hearty durian one last time. A hearty durian. A hearty durian. I have one of them. Uh, ah, spirits of the goddess. Before you take me from this world, if I could just taste fruit. Just one last bite of hearty durian. Take this! Ha! Uh, huh. I've returned from the brink of death thanks to you. Suck so! <laughs> huh. Is that you I spoke to before? So you are actually a vow. I thought you were a bit muscular for a Hylian Vi. But don't worry, your secret is safe with me. I owe you my life after all. Uh. Huh, anyway, I'm totally exhausted. Maybe I'll rest just a little longer than head home. Your boss was mad. No. Huh? Something new? I snuck off? Oh, I'm in so much trouble. Yep, looks like I'd better go on ahead. See you later in Savok. Goodbye, you head up there. And I'll continue our solving of the situations going on. Oh, I can even see a map. Right, so if I can see a map, we've now got to figure out where more things are. We've now got the great Gludu skeleton there. Question is shrine-wise, it could be anywhere. To be honest, considering the barren and spacing of that, we probably got this side. So either looking for somewhere like here, here. Of course, what we really sensed was stuff somewhere around here, wasn't it? And then there's definitely one here, so don't don't be lying about that. It's probably even something here or here. Just like you know, there's map markings. It basically tells you where all the interesting stuff is. So if we head this side, now that we've got ourselves speed on our side. And I've got rid of the sandstorms as well to go with it. Beautiful, wouldn't you say, mini taluses? By the looks of it. Right, where can we get ourselves? Or what trouble can we get into? Well, that's trouble number one. That's a Molduga. Now we do need them, however, to upgrade our boots. It was there a second ago. Yep, it's there, it's there. 
I, I get away, you. I'm gonna get up here. You do your thing elsewhere. Here. Food. Right, what weapon am I gonna lay into him with this time? I guess that'll do. This is the Arbiter's Ground? What an interesting place we found ourselves at. I think you'll find we took care of that big lummox. But this is the place where so many things happened. This is where people want me to fight Linnels. Instead, I'm fighting Moldugas. Still going to require a fair bit of hitting to go, but once this is out of the way, it's those lovely guts that I won. I'd never thought I'd say that sentence. Oh, the wind's coming as well. Do you see it sucking it towards? Badly damaged, you say? Well, it's more than that now. I'm glad that you don't suddenly try to dash towards me, to be honest. Alright, what to wail on it with next? We got Guardian Spear plus pluses. We get a fair few hits on. You think after the first few times of blowing up, you know, they'd give it a stop. Go on, keep wailing. Got ya. Another old Duga down. And if even for our trouble, I've probably got myself a Korok. You can see it, can't you? A Royal Claymore. That'd be quite handy for taking down these guys. They're fairly easy to find, they're fairly easy to hunt. I say that's for sure at this point in time. Am I going to be able to knock down that rock? No, nope, but it was always going to be more expensive jewels if they were hidden by a monster such as that. <laughs> Blow it my way, okay. And a cork to be found? Not a problem, sir. Right, so where to next? Well, we have the seven oasis over this way. Then either that or maybe the bits up there. There's got to be something here. So I guess we just keep on traveling and hope for the best for now. And hope that our sand seal hasn't gone away. Oops. So we are without seal once more as we travel forward into unknown territory. Who knows if a Molduga might come get me. Of course no horse can hear me because I've not got no horse at the moment. I sold it. So back into the desert we go next episode. Join me then for more Legend of Zelda. Breath of the world. Bye bye. <laughs>